Our next caller is Brian from Texas. What's going on, Brian? How can we help you? Hey, how y'all doing? Good. Good. Um, so, so I'm 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 kind of long and thin. And I've never had a lot of success building muscle. Um, I'm product of a lot of the, the things y'all talk about. A lot of bad information and bad form, and you know, just an attitude to do more, it'll get better, and stay in the gym till I'm sore and beat up every day. Um, but, uh, you know, down the road, I've let myself go to crap in my thirties and forties. And a little over a year ago, um, finally got it together, lost about 50 pounds and got to a point where I wanted to build some muscle and kind of went back to those same problems I was having before, just wasn't having a lot of success. And I found your podcast at just the right time. Um, you know, you helped me answer part of that equation, which was stop swimming six miles a week uh, was the first step. But once I bought one of your fitness bundles and got into the Max Prime section, I realized I got a lot of muscle imbalances as well and mobility issues. Um, so before I moved into a more advanced course, I really kind of started myself out just doing pre-primers, fortification, and post-primers three days a week with mobility sessions on the performance section in between. So seven days a week, just mobility. And my question is, is this the right approach um, to focus solely on these mobility issues, or should I be incorporating um, one of the foundational programs in there to help me reach my goal of building muscle and a Addressing these mobility issues. Uh, that's a first really of all, that question. really really smart. Yeah, yeah I, I was just gonna say um, there's a misconception that mobility and correctional work doesn't make you stronger. The reason why you get better at mobility work and correctional work as you practice it is precisely yeah. because you're building strength. You're just building strength in targeted ways to improve your the way that you move. Now, if you were my client. This is exactly what I would do. What, if when I took a client mm -hmm. and I identified lots of mobility and, mo and and movement issues, that's all we focused on for a little while because that's the fastest way to improve, and it's the fastest way to get to the point where you can start to focus on heavier weight and compound lifts and that kind of stuff. So you're doing exactly yeah. what you should. You're be strengthening doing. the support system. You're 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 providing more stability amongst the joints, which then you can even load more as you get back into weight training. So I think it's just a misconception. People think they're regressing tremendously by just focusing on it when in fact, uh, you know, it's a little bit longer uh, approach, but you're actually going to be accelerating your results this way. I'm actually really impressed by this, considering that you you admit that you were doing everything so wrong in the past and before and I think you and you've obviously not only have you you bought the programming so that you obviously listened to all the videos and read the content which sometimes people just buy it and then don't go mm -hmm. through all that stuff because mm -hmm. you, you where you went and where you started is exactly where I think all of us would that's how why we wrote it we wrote it with those intentions for someone just like you now of course eventually you'll want to start to move into some foundational stuff uh, and the way that would look is I would start you one day a week of anabolic. So I would keep doing everything you're doing and then trade out maybe one of those days or if I could add a day of like, a, you know, a foundational day for MAPS anabolic and see how you feel. See if you feel good when you squat. See if you feel good when you're doing these movements and and then start to build upon that. But what you're doing, you're, you're laying the perfect foundation. And to Sal's point, you are building muscle. You're just building very specific muscle to to work and uh, work on all those imbalances. Awesome. Right. And I've seen those, I've seen those results, um, already just, just from going through the mobility, I've seen the strength gains and I feel more stable in, in a lot of the lifts. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's what I'm seeing. And, and, you know, that's why I love y'all's information. It's, it's so easy to buy in because you listen to what you say and then, then you see the results on the other end. Yeah, no, stay the course. You're doing ex awesome, you're man. doing the right thing. Stay the course and you'll get there and you actually get your goals faster. Are you are you actually Brian, are you inside um our private forum? Um I'm sorry, what what do you mean? Like yeah, we have we have, a, have a, you, we have a we have a Facebook private forum. Are you I'm assuming you're not in it. No, I'm not. Okay, so I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have Doug give you. Well, now you are. That's right. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna have Doug give you access to it. It's on Facebook, to so I don't know if you use Facebook or not. Hopefully, you do. 
Um, if you don't, hopefully you use it for this. But I would love to hear uh, your progress. In there, there's, there's a community of people just like yourself plus us. Uh, and then we have a lot of uh, PTs, nutritionists, a lot of really intelligent, brilliant people in there. It's a great community where people are sharing their progress. And that way, if you have questions along your journey or you want us to look at your form when you do an exercise, uh, you can shoot it up there on that page and you'll and you'll get a response from one of us pretty quick, if not from another professional that's in there. So it's, I think it's a great value add to what you already have going for you. So uh, join that join that group. I'd love to see you in there. There you go. Will do. Will do. I appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough situation because people think mobility means, you know, oh, no, I'm not going to get there fa fast enough or uh -huh. I'm not going to. The truth is you'll get there faster uh, by focusing on those things first. Because when I when we train clients, would you, I mean, if you had a client that you need to work on mobility and correctional exercise, you wouldn't do that and bodybuilding or that and powerlifting. Right, right. Yeah. It would be just it's counterproductive. That. Well, yeah. especially when he, I mean, he says he failed all three compass mm -hmm. tests. Yeah. So he knows he's got a lot of work. To, I mean, and he, I love hearing someone because this is an area where I think, I think a lot of people miss. They, um, they buy our prime program and they kind of like just, go over it real quick they don't yeah. really go into it or they'll uh, do like one session and be like okay i get the whole and then they'll just jump right back to training yeah so what he's doing is is perfect man and he said it himself he's he's seeing the the difference i mean he's he knows he's built he's getting stronger he's getting more stable i mean that's the and honestly i would just continue down that path and then i'd probably start to flirt with one day a week of anabolic mm -hmm. just to see how I perform. Like, does the squat mm -hmm. feel good? Do, do I look like I'm moving well? Like, and, and then if that continues to progress then I'd slowly start to add days from anabolic in there.